good morning. You find me at the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. I've had a really lovely morning here so far. It's very warm, it's very humid, I'm very sticky. Um, but I'm also salty and sandy, so I can't complain, even though I just did. Uh, I have a beautiful view of the ocean. Um, I'd love to have you like face in the ocean, but I'm trying to um, keep the audio as okay as possible so the mic needs to face away from the ocean. Um, but yeah, it's been an early start. I got up at 3.45 and I had a terrible sleep because it was so hot. Just had a really sudden warm change, which is lovely. Um, spring weather, spring and autumn weather, it's so unpredictable but you kind of get a bit of everything, which is really nice. But I am back for another weekly reflect and intent, even though it has been quite a while, but I've wanted, I've still kept up with doing them pretty much every week. Um, it was just, I wouldn't say it's a lot to film, it's not hard, but I just needed some time kind of alone. I had a bit of a rough winter and, um, I just needed yeah, time to myself and I needed to keep that time to be just alone time. So um, that's my explanation. But I am, as usual, using my Dreamy Moons journal prompts and journals to reflect on my week and look to the next week. And I'm lucky enough to have a discount code if you want to purchase your own 2024 journals or anything else from her amazing website. So if you use the code Lauren Hogg at checkout, you get 10% off, which I'm very grateful for her. Um, we can support each other in this way. I will be purchasing my 2024 journal with her again, um, but I am also purchasing another journal. Um, I've kind of got a couple of different journals on the go. I now use like this one, my big original one as my creative video ideas. Like I basically write all my videos now, I don't type them. Um, so that's that. And then these are a lot of like moon reflections and um, intention setting and being like a bit more in my kind of like feminine side. That's how I kind of see these journals a bit more. Um, and this is a planner. Um, and like the planner goes with the journal. Um, and then I've got another journal that I'm excited to use um, I haven't, it's arrived, but I haven't opened it yet. I'm gonna open it in December. But I think that's gonna be a lot more business and structure and goal setting, and I guess more of like a masculine energy if I'm gonna, like I'm kind of seeing things in that way at the moment, so that's why I might refer to those things that way. Um, I'm just gonna sit on this so I don't get bitten by ants. But please let me know how you've been going recently in the past few months and if you've been journaling if you like these videos if you like to journal with me um, and how I can make them better what I can do for you in the future um, if there are prompts that you think that would be useful for me I'd love to know I'd love to hear them but we will get into it now so oh my gosh is it Oh, we're so far through November. Okay, so end of week reflection for this week is ooh, have I received any signs from the universe this week? Um, I can speak to that immediately. I felt my intuition be quite strong recently again, which feels so nice. So I love listening to it and um, it really gives me some guidance and just gives me like a trust within myself um, and the world around me and um, yeah that everything kind of happens for a reason and that kind of stuff. Um, to film this video that I filmed this morning, uh, logistically it didn't make any sense for so many reasons um, but something was just pushing me to go and um, I'm really happy that I did. And that seems like a really lame unless i go into all the details it seems like such a lame kind of sign but um just trust me on this one it was good <laughs> um yeah it was just like a ridiculous 
and anyway, okay. So have you assigned, have you received any signs from the universe this week? Um, I'm gonna think of something besides that one. Sorry for that uncomfortable noise. The next question for you to reflect on is how can I interpret those signs? I feel like it's an interesting question. How can I interpret those signs? And then summarize your week in one word, sentence or phrase. Um, I always do, so rarely do one word. Um, Okay, now let's look back on the previous week, what we intended to accomplish. Um, if you didn't write down what you intended to accomplish, have a look back over the week um, at what you did, um, what each day looked like, um, the overall like broader picture of the week, are you happy with what you got done and kind of each aspect of your life? Um, like it's not all about work, did you? Did you get the tasks done that you needed to though at work and did you see friends that you wanted to? Wow, there's a huge lizard. Hi, bud. Um, and I wanna turn you around. But I don't wanna scare him away. Yeah, what you wanted to accomplish at work and everything, but also uh, were there people that you wanted to catch up with? Did you do the movement that you wanted to, the exercise? Did you eat how you wanted to, did you get some good sleep? Um, and if you looked back on this time last week, would you be happy with how you've used your time this week? So look back on my previous week. Okay. So there's some stuff that I did, but there's other stuff that just did not happen. Um, I apologize for the noise. I can't do anything about that. Okay. So ask yourself, what do I intend to accomplish next week? What do I intend to accomplish next week? Um, so this can be like just a list of tasks if you'd like, which I think that's how I'll do it.
Okay, and then uh, break those um, intentions into health, career, relationships, and personal. So I kind of wrote down mostly logistical things that I need to do in the week, and now I'm going to transfer some of them across, but more so be more intentional with those specific categories. So health, next week I need to get more sleep. I've been getting to bed at a reasonable time and getting up at a reasonable time, but um, it's been so hot. I just have had like terrible sleep. So write down, um, like I'm gonna get a fan this weekend, that's for sure. And then, so yeah, health, career, relationships, and personal. I find that I need to be intentional about my relationships because otherwise the weeks can just go by and I just kind of neglect the important people in my life, which I don't like doing. and then ask yourself how you'll practice love, self-love. So I will practice self-love by, it can be a sentence, some bullet points. I will practice self-love by, this lizard's so cool. Just keeps creeping a little bit closer. He's chill. Um, I will practice self-love by not procrastinating on like a screen, by working on the projects that I really enjoy working on and getting the most important tasks in the day done first so I don't feel stressed. And because all of those are career related and they, they always seem to be quite career related, I want to think about something a bit more personal um, as to how I can practice self-love. I've been um, learning the handpan recently, the instrument, and so I'm just gonna try to play that a bit more free flow, and um, yeah, I think that's how, what I will do. Free and Okay, and now, the last step of this <sighs> weekly reflect and intent. Um, sorry, there's just like a lot of ants around. Um, the last step is to put those things that we've, like, those intentions, the things we want to uh, accomplish and get done and have in our following week, in our upcoming week. Um, we're going to pop them, schedule them in the calendar. Or that was a roundabout way of saying scheduling those tasks in. So let's do that.
Hey bud. Sorry. <laughs> I was like chill before and then he just came really close. <laughs> I'm super chill. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I'm one with nature. Okay. Okay, I've managed to like write down so many more things that seem to like seem like they're gonna fit in the week so I'm just gonna highlight the tasks that I haven't been able to like schedule in yet oh, sometimes there's just not enough time in the week you know and I want to do so many things that definitely needs to happen uh, yep that needs to happen Okay. It's like solid five tasks that I really would like to be able to do. Anyway, um, I have left my phone in the car, but let me try to think of a final, um, actually, I might just read some of like the quotes that I write at the top of my pages in my creative um, notebook. Things that have been like really resonating with me recently. I'm gonna go through and just write some of them down. I'm um, read some of them out. Okay. Be worthy of the success you desire. I really love this one because you don't just become successful because you want to be or you don't just achieve something because you want to you have to really work at it you have to have a really clear vision of it know what it is um, make a plan to get there and back yourself to do it so it's very like you can interpret you can like um, say the similar thing in many different ways um, it's kind of like aligning with your higher self or um, almost manifestation where you act like you already have it and then it comes into existence because in order to become the person that you really want to be um, or become the kind of person that does this or does that you have to act like you are already that person and then by thereby you become the person that you want to be that does that thing um, for example if I want to be a competitive swimmer I need to uh, train and eat and um, revolve my life around swimming like a competitive swimmer would so and then um, you know one day you wake up and realize that if you do that you are one so I like that one a lot it just doesn't take away the I find it motivational but it doesn't take away the um, really true fact of that discipline is really needed Learn to reset, not quit. And there are gonna be a lot of times in our lives um, where things just feel too hard and things, especially when they're meaningful to us, we don't want, it just hurts a lot if we don't, aren't making progress or something. But it doesn't mean you have to quit. Resetting is an incredible option and tool and it might show a little pivot or a change that you need to make, um, but it doesn't mean that you have to give up. Practice curiosity. Being curious is always better than being angry or really harsh on yourself. Just be curious. I like this one. This was a good one that I used in winter when I was just, I just had a hard time. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning how to dance in the rain. I really like. 
there's so many things that you can take from that but how I took it was that even the darker times of our lives are still chapters and we're going through them for a reason I got into that place for a reason and the lessons in that time are just as valuable as the lessons you learn to get yourself out of that place uh, and lessons that you learn in hindsight looking back and it's also to find the joy in the darker times because rain I think rain is just as beautiful as sun for so many reasons but to take away like the fact that rain is water and it gives us life and plants and food and everything um, to dance in the rain it's a wonderful thing and then when it's sunny you don't get to dance in the rain so just make the most of whatever life kind of throws at you Make mistakes, they're proof you're trying. If you're bored by people, you're not listening to them. People are inherently interesting. Locate the joy within the task. I love that one, I always come back to that one. The breeze at dawn has secrets to tell you. Don't go back to sleep. And finally, similar to the first one I suppose, but every action builds and contributes to the person that you are. Every time, just to relate it back to myself in my time, my where I'm at right now in life, every swimming session that I do is a session in the bank. It contributes to the larger goal that I have, the discipline, kind of my sense of self as well, and um, yeah. <laughs> every action contributes to the person that you are, so I would choose wisely. Thank you so much for doing this with me today. If you would like to purchase your own Dreamy Moons journal of any variety, but especially looking forward to the next year, then feel free to use my link in the description below or use the code Lauren Hogg at checkout. Thank you so much. And um, I look forward to doing these more and sharing this with you again. Have a good day. Bye guys.